everyone. Today I'm going to show you how, what I use to make bottle caps. I've been getting quite a few requests on how I put the bottle caps together. And I, these are the two that I usually buy. I, I usually like this kind of bottle caps, which I get at Hobby Lobby. They're flat. They're almost flat. I really like these. And then you also have the typical bottle cap. Excuse me if you hear my dog barking. Which is just looks like a regular bottle cap. Like this. And on these you can put the image either on the outside right here or on the inside right in here. I usually put it on the inside, um, but that's really the reason why I like this, the flat one. So and I get both of these at Hobby Lobby. The brand name is Spare Parts. And I'm not sure. This was $10, but I think at the time they were 50% off, so I got them for 5 bucks. And you're also going to need uh, epoxy stickers. You can use epoxy stickers or you can use this. I usually use this only if I'm going to be putting it on the outside. I put, I'll glue the image to the outside right here and then I'll paint this triple thick over the top to make it shiny. That's what I usually do. But usually with like if I'm putting it on the flat one or if I'm putting it on the inside of the bottle cap, I'll use a, one of these stickers. You're also going to need one of these. It's a one inch hole punch type of thing. I got it at Hobby Lobby also. It's The brand is the Paper Studio. Yeah, and it came with a little plastic piece here, which is over here. But I took it off. It's just much easier for me. It, it's supposed to be there so that I can catch the paper, but I usually punch it this way so I can see it. So you're also going to need one of these. And you're also going to need um, one inch images. And you can buy these for very cheap, like on Etsy or on eBay. Usually it's like a, like a dollar or two dollars per sheet. And you can make as many copies as you want. Like you save it to your hard drive or your computer. They'll, they'll send it to you like through an email. And then, or they'll send it to you. I don't remember how they sent it to me, but you can print it out. And you can make as many copies as you want. You just save it to your computer. So yeah, let me show you how I put it all together. So first thing you're going to do, oh, you're also going to need Elmer's glue. Excuse me, this is a very old glue from one of my mom's students a long time ago. So you're also going to need Elmer's glue. So what I usually do is I'll take whatever image that I want, let me just move these, and I'll put it through like this, and I'll make sure that it's right in the center. You can see that. Right into the center. And just punch it through. And then you have your image a little one inch circle and I'm going to show you how I put it on the flat piece first so I'm just going to take a dab of Elmer's glue just a little dot not too much maybe like about that much then I'm going to spread it around with my finger and try to make as thin of a layer as I can you don't want it thick because it'll take so much longer to dry very thin layer. Then you just want to place the picture inside and kind of gently press it down. I don't know if you guys can see that, I'm sorry. You get it like this and you just wait until the Elmer glue is dry, which usually takes a couple minutes or so. And you can also do the same thing to this one. You just do it on the inside, the same thing. Just a little tiny dab of Elmer's glue and you spread it around and then you stick the image on the inside of this, of the regular size bottle cap. 
but also I'm going to show you how to do it on the outside, what I usually do. So on the outside I'll do the same thing, I'll just put a little dot, well first let me get the image, sorry. So I'm just going to take this and punch another image out. And I'm going to add a dot of glue, oh to the outside, sorry. Dot of glue to the outside, just a tiny dot, not too much, just like that. And spread it around. And you want to stick it on as close to the middle as you can. So it looks like that. And you're also going to wait for this one to dry as well. And on this one, since I put it on the outside of the bottle cap, I'm going to be using the triple thick to paint a layer on. With that, you're also going to need a paintbrush. And after you paint, after you use paint the glue on, always wash your paintbrushes with soap and water. Even if, I mean, all painters know this. Like, I've always learned it in all my art classes that as soon as you're done with your paintbrushes, always go and wash them with soap and water. Because paint or anything that you use with your paintbrushes with usually will leave an acid on it, which will make your bristles very hard and they won't be soft and flexible anymore which is what usually happens to most paintbrushes if you just rinse it with water. I always wash it with soap and water to get all the to make sure to get all the the oil and the the acid or whatever that that paint has in it to get it out. I do the same thing when I use this. It keeps your brushes nice. This one is probably already dry. I usually will wait maybe like 5 or 10 minutes. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you what to do next with the flat one. This is a flat one. I'm going to take one of the stickers, the epoxy stickers. And they usually come on sheets like this. And you peel it off, but be careful not to touch the sticky part. And you just place it inside here. And you press it down. press it down all the way around and then it gives it that little bubble effect. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> and that one's done. And you can just use it like the back is flat. So you can just get a blow a bow. Let me just grab a bow. I guess I'll just use this one. This one I actually put a knot in the middle but just pretend like there's no knot in the middle. You just glue it right to the middle of the bow like that. To like a finished bow. Just like that. You add a dab of hot glue and you just stick it on. And that's how I usually make the flat ones. Now let me show you how I finish the other ones. This this will be the same way if you're gonna put it on the inside of the regular bottle cap. You just put the epoxy sticker on the inside. But I'm gonna show you how I paint on the outside. So I'm gonna get the triple thick. I got this triple thick at Michael's I think. I think I got it at Michael's. I think it was like 10 bucks, but it lasts a long time. 5 or 10 bucks, I can't remember. But it's just a. Let's see if I can show you the consistency. It's just. Kind of like Elmer's glue in a way, but it's. It dries. It comes. It dries clear. <clears throat> and shiny. So I just get a, a big gob of it. And I usually just, as soon as it's dry, I just paint it on. Just like this. And sometimes I'll even also paint on a second coat just to make it extra thick. That's basically what I do. Just paint it on. Sometimes I'll get another coat. But whatever you choose, whatever you think looks best for your bottle caps. You can also stick one of the stickers 
the epoxy stickers right here to the outside of it but I've experienced that if I do that the sticker sometimes falls off or the kids can easily pull it off but that's what I do I don't know if you can see and this usually I usually wait at least uh, 12 10 to 12 hours for it to dry before I put it on any any bow so but yeah that's basically it. oh and also let me tell you how you would put this on a bow what I usually do when I make bottle caps like this where the inside which is you know a deep you can't really just glue it onto a bow because the glue won't really reach in here so what I usually do like like this bow I make a knot like that and I put glue on the end of the knot and that way when I glue the bow down the knot is touching all the way into the bottle cap and then it, it's glued on that's what I usually do but you can do whatever works best for you I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any other questions please leave them down below and I'll answer them for you thanks for watching